channel today I'm gonna show you how the iMeave works <laughs> All right, nothing difficult with this car, but it's always nice to know uh, a few tricks by people owning this. So I just put the car in, the key in, I have it in P and I put on the brakes and I just turn the key all the way. And now it's gonna make like a sound and here it has to say ready, right? When it's the green, when it's ready, then it's good to go. As long as that's not on, the car is not on. Um, a few things to explain about this. It's quite easy. Uh, on the left, uh, you see uh, your gear level and how much uh, energy you have. So if I change the gear in reverse, neutral, D, B or C, uh, then you see it there. So you don't have to look down to see which gear you are in uh, kilometers per hour your speed and then if you drive economical or if the car charge when going downhill is your guess o meter so this thing is just guessing uh, how much range you I have put here a temperature uh, device because I like to know if it's freezing outside or not because I'm in Norway and then I have to watch out for the road yeah but the good thing with Mitsubishi and the uh, ION and the C0, it has a very good windscreen wipers uh, setup. So if you just uh, go one time up, it goes one time, but if you keep it up, it goes very, very quick. So suddenly a truck is driving in front of you and you get a lot of water, you just keep it up. And then of course, uh, this I like very much because uh, on the other cars, like, even the Tesla was extremely bad. It's all this sensor automatic uh, windscreen wipers. I don't like them at all. So this is very good. You go one down and then here you adjust if it goes slow or faster. And this adjusts as well with the speed. So if you have this on and you put in reverse, the back uh, windscreen wiper goes as well. So it's, it's very handy, this thing. Uh, on the other side, you have a uh, the lights I've put it on automatic and then you have uh, the setup for your uh, fog lights and your indicators right but the good thing to know about this car is um, this device um, if you push here and you see that uh, the air is recirculating inside of the car you're gonna get a lot of uh, deck uh, humidity so I never put this on this is um, a bad setup so i've put it always between uh, the window and the feet uh, because i like always the window to having some heat and uh, this is the speed so you just turn it and as the speed if you push this button your air conditioning goes on right and this button is the heat of course up and down but if you push this one it goes on maximum so then it gives full power. The good thing to know is, of course, how more you use this, how more you're gonna use energy. And this uses five kilowatt hours energy. So it's one turn of the car's capacity. So uh, I drive with this as uh, less as possible. The heat I can have on here because it's pretty cold outside and, um, and the fan on half. But if it's a bit uh, getting humidity on the windows, I just push this one and this one and let it go maybe one or two minutes and when it's gone I take them off again because then I know it's done and I don't use so much energy the good thing about this ones is uh, they have heating in the seats but it's a bit hidden so it's here for the driver and for the passengers is very strange place it's underneath there so underneath your dash you have for the passenger um, I put it on now so so that's the things to know uh, on your left side when you finish driving uh, you have uh, for the electricity plug that's for the normal home plug so then uh, you just pull this and uh, you plug in your cable on the right side of the car 
it's a type one and this is okay to uh, charge uh, in a normal socket right if you want to fast charge it's behind this front seat so that as well you just pull and that's going to open on the left side and that is shademo and here you get 50 kilowatt hours in so um, to fill it uh, up uh, half uh, takes only 15 minutes so if you're on a trip it's very good to know that this is charging very fast to uh, to 80 percent uh, afterwards going to take much more time so this is a car that has uh, uh, six airbags and uh, it's a four-seater and this device here i've put myself it's a, a digital dap radio so it's a, it's a okay system right because that is a dab mode so that's the radio the fan is just this that is a bit important because if you're always driving with this on you're gonna have maybe max 70 kilometers range with this off uh, and the heat on you have maybe um, 85 uh, 90 kilometers range and when you put the heat on the green the fan doesn't matter uh you're gonna probably reach 110 kilometers depends of course on the wind of if the roads are wet or not so it's a very easy car uh but we like it very much because uh, like now as well i just put uh, some cupboards in the back it's a uh, very square we had it now for uh, for almost six years and has uh, almost 60,000 kilometers on the clock here on the left you can put your uh, traction control on off don't do that <laughs> this is the noise it makes uh, when it's uh, driving slow and this one is for the mirror so if you push this little button here i'm gonna zoom in this one you're gonna see if you're in a parking house and you want to, your mirrors to go in and out that's the button and then for the to regulate your mirrors it just left and then all right it's very easy so uh, i find out that this car has everything that i need to go to work and uh, we just love it of course the gears we have another video about uh, the gears and the range and how to uh, have it not rusting and stuff like that because you saw on the pictures as well you see on the pictures as well that my car is uh, in very good shape but this gear lever of course you have to put uh, on the brakes but p is park and now you have a brake if you're on a hill reverse neutral does do anything drive i put it mostly on drive because then it's normal drive if you want to if you're in the city and uh, you start and stop a lot you can put it in b it's going to brake more you're going to use your brakes less and it's going to capture more energy back the c is for the highway cruising what it does if you're on the highway and you drive like 100 kilometers per hour and you lift up your foot you don't want the car to brake so hard so you don't need so much energy to get back on speed so the c does this that it brakes less and then you're gonna have a smoother ride but if you just put it on d you don't want to stretch just put it on d uh, if you go down on a hill and uh, it's uh, it's very steep like a tunnel for example you just put it in b it's going to break even more right um, you can't start the car if it's not in p this device here you see if i put the air conditioning on now the gasometer is going to say it doesn't going to go so far clack you see it takes a lot off or if i put my heat on it use a lot so if you have this on the green and your air conditioning off and you see my car is uh, charged for 40 percent and it says 56 kilometers so the range is perfect for me it's over 100 kilometers and uh, it's very nice the good thing about this as well of course you can uh, charge the car uh, overnight and it's only a 16 hours kilowatt battery so it goes in eight hours for a normal 16 amps uh, a plaque you don't really need a wall box like we have here uh, that we had uh, for uh, yeah bigger cars um, so you can reheat the car in the morning before you go with a very funny device that it's this one 
So this is a remote control and I just have it on the side of my bed and I, when I wake up, I just put it on. All right, now the car is plugged in. It has a small antenna here you can pull out if you really, uh, your sleeping room is a bit far away from your car. Um, but here you put it on on the side, on off and uh, send uh, the message, right? So I just press it and it's coming on. And then here you can you uh, put the time when you want the battery to charge. Uh, if you have like uh, electricity cheaper in the night, you can, for example, say I want to charge in uh, yeah in four hours, and then you just press this again, and then it send a message, and when it gives you a signal like this, then it's registered that it's gonna charge in four hours right but i just uh, i've never used this because i've i just plug it in we always say charge when you can not when you have to so this car I just plug in every evening and i did this for almost six years and my battery didn't lose any kilometers or maybe five percent but i did i drove uh, last month 120 kilometer with this car so i don't feel it changed here you have a mode button you can change and now you can you come to air conditioning off if you use the arrows here you can put to defrost you can put to air conditioning off you can cool the car or you can just heat up the car so i use always defrost because it's the best for me for the windows even in the morning i have to scrape i don't use this in the summer but in the winter a lot and then I just send the signal with this. You see this little antenna, so that means send signal. And then it's sending a signal, it's confirming. And then the car, you hear it, it starts. It starts to heat up. And here, automatically, the recirculating air is coming up, but I never use this. So it doesn't really matter how your setup is done. It always going to go straight to the windows and the back window going to defrost and the mirrors going to defrost. So that's pretty good. So we're just going to put this off. So I just put it on again. I go to mode to air conditioning. Here and I just choose air go off and I send the signal. Signal sent and then it goes off, right? So if you live in a hot country, you can, of course, Put it on cool as well cool send signal wait for the confirmation sound Oi, error. that i don't know why i don't know why i did that but sometimes you have to do it two three times there it goes so now you see the air conditioning is coming and it's blowing cold air straight away here even the setup is for the feet and the windows so that's pretty cool that this is really <laughs> it's really cold now i don't need this uh, and it goes very fast my god oh yeah 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 okay let's put this off so cool no no i don't want to cool put it on again because it goes off and then i put mode and i go uh, air conditioning off send the signal and then now it's off so it's it's uh, <laughs> strange looking things uh, but it's working very well all right this is uh, how to charge so if you charge in a normal socket uh, it's important that this box is not hanging straight on your cable right uh so that's why there is this cord on it that you have to put on a nail so that the pressure doesn't go straight in your cable but it's always hanging here and then the, the cable goes inside like this and then straight in the letter box that i put outside so to protect it for the rain so for me this is working for my wife is the type 2 working